All right, what is up everyone? OJ over here from Player Essence. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Player Essence Cross Nintendo. We got a great show for you guys. We'll be talking about the best uh, gaming news for Nintendo. Also about, I was talking to you guys in the, in the, uh, the chat about this patch that I've been hearing about with Smash Brothers. That's the reason why we haven't heard anything uh, from them. So we'll talk about the patch later. Once we get into random Q&A, we'll talk about that. We're going to go over the topics uh, because that is just a rumor, okay? It's just like a huge, huge, huge rumor. Uh, nobody really knows about it too much. Uh, so I don't want to speculate too much on it outside of just I've been hearing a few things. So um, what's up to everybody here? Um, I put question marks as the current topic, but the current topic is going to be shout outs <laughs> shout outs and um and ninja news uh shout outs and ninja news shout outs and ninja ninja news all right so um so let's go and get into some ninja news for the week oh man dude like come on oh what i have to put the and how about this and like that there you go that's better um so here's basically the news for the week uh essentially uh, we've been cha we changed the format of PE news. Um, you guys are going to be getting at least a minimum of five topics per PE news, and it goes up at six a.m. Six a.m. PT. Uh, that is nine a.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday. That's the time that it's going to go up. Not going to go up any earlier. Go up any later. Six a.m. Um, six a.m. PT um, is the time for PE news, Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday, you'll get various different videos or live streams. Saturday or Sunday. Um, just depends. No live and live streaming. PE live or different live shows Monday through Saturday, um, or sorry, Monday through Friday as well. Saturday, sometimes on Saturdays, probably like Smash Brothers on Saturdays um, going forward, um, maybe not edited videos. So Saturdays and Sundays might be edited videos off. Just depends if I have like a cool idea or not. But uh, Monday through Friday, PE news, um, 6 a.m. So guys, just plan on watching that 6 a.m. Every single day, Monday through uh, Monday through not every single day, but Monday through Friday, uh, 6 a.m. Um, I am retooling once again. Uh, we are still working on the retool, uh, so like the relaunch or relaunch or retool, whatever. Uh, we are going to have, like I said, brand new art. Uh, we are going to have um, a bunch of stuff uh, tonight. Tonight we do have a tune-up for the tournament that we're going to be having, the Great Ninja War. Um, so if you want to play some Smash tonight and tune up with your mains, I'm going to be doing try hard. We're going to be doing some um, Elite Smash with Wolf. So I'm going to be tuning up my wolf uh, for tournaments that I'm going to be going to here in California. Um, and uh, if you want to get some good practice in with your mains or even not with your mains, even with people that you want to work, uh, you know, work on um, or just in general, you don't have to like try. You don't have to try your super hardest, but we're, we are going to be doing some tuning up uh, for the first tournament. I will not be participating in my own tournament. Uh, that is at the end of the month. We're going to have that um, probably um next uh next week next saturday we're gonna aim for that first tournament um signups and all that will be on discord on i want to give you guys as much time to know when you're going to be able to do it or not so that's why i wanted to tell you guys way ahead of time but it's probably going to be saturday the 26th uh we're going to start in the early in the morning um it's going to every all the rules and everything's going to be on discord um it's for it's for sub uh patreons and subs only tier twos up um twitch primes or uh, youtube members uh so if you want to get a tune-up in tonight kind of work on a few things you can definitely do so and we will be playing smash all next week as well um various times uh when i have time to stream we will be playing smash as well uh we are going to have uh prizes uh for the for the tournament uh first place is going to get cash prize i just don't it's going to be like 50 bucks but it's going to it's going to be divvied up so it's going to be like first place gets like you know 35 20 then like five for third place or something like that so we are going to divvy it up uh, between there in terms of the first second and third um, it's going to be a pretty streamlined format i'm not expecting more than maybe like 50 people 40 to 50 people maybe even less than that so we should be able to get everything done um, within the like three hours because i'm not going to be streaming everybody's matches and all that like we're not going to wait for certain matches uh, we're going to make sure that we stream all of top eight though top eight will all be streamed and it's going to be a pretty streamlined tournament it's going to be best of fives it's going to be best of fives throughout the whole thing uh, counter picks counter picks and bands so normal rule set so make sure you guys brush up on a normal rule set um when it comes to it um and yeah so yeah we'll have all the rules and everything on discord uh and of course we'll make sure that nobody cheats because we have the smash tag system right so you can see who you've played and how much you um how many times you've beat them and of course you guys can save your replays if somebody if somebody wants to get like you know wants to lie about certain things so uh, we'll make sure that doesn't happen with smash tags and also replays so make sure you guys save those as well but like i said we'll talk about all of that in the discord um we are probably going to use a yeah it's probably going to be like a genesis 6 rule set just so i can take something that's uh, pretty easy 
and just kind of uh, copy uh, copy paste you know over um, when it comes to it so yeah we are going to pretty much use a, a genesis 6 rule set so if you guys want to brush up on the rule set already and know what it is like it'll be genesis 6 rule set however i think they'll be a little bit different because they don't do best of fives throughout the whole thing right so ours is going to be best of five from the very beginning and then top eight there's going to be winners and losers okay so there's no there's no winners bracket and losers bracket with ours it's going to be streamlined straight through and then like once we get to top eight there'll be a winners and there'll be a losers once we get to top eight we're going to get in there we're going to play through um although we might I, I got a 100 i gotta check on that depending on how many people we have we might do a winners and losers depending on how many people we have but for right now just brush up on the rule set guys and we'll have everything i'll have everything ready and set up for you guys probably tomorrow will be the sign up i want to get a gauge of how many people are actually going to be able to join uh but next saturday just plan clear your day saturday next you know just make sure you clear your day because uh, that's when we're going to be doing it so uh so there you go um <laughs> thanks Nairo don't she <laughs> yeah um all right so yeah Nairo's had some pretty some pretty people that like to go in there and cheat and stuff like that so but most of the people don't obviously um all right so uh I think that's it for ninja news guys um shout outs to the new sponsors we just got a number of new elite ninja so thank you guys so much if you want to get in on the tournament we're trying to hit 160 um so uh, we are nine away from that so if you want to sponsor up and also get access to being able to play smash brothers like we're going to play tonight sponsor battles all that make sure you hit that join button um or tier two or up as well so um i think that's it for ninja news uh shout outs so if you guys want me to say hi to you in the chat make sure you say hi to me and i will say hi back to you i've already seen a number of the elite ninja here twitch boys as well so shout outs to everybody who's here um uh let's see here all right so chuba what's good chuba um let's see here dank meme is here we am gamers here what's up the hands what's up man um let's see here uh well i i record my videos guys i record my videos ahead of time that skies of arcadia video was recorded like two days ago so just because there's a video that i upload that i might have a haircut one way doesn't mean i won't have it once you see me live on another day it just depends it just depends but yeah that skies of arcadia video was was recorded a couple a few days ago <laughs> so so yeah i just i just didn't have time to edit it the way that i wanted to edit it with green screen and all that with all the other stuff that i was doing like with the mortal Kombat event and all that so um maze from twitter's here what's good man racing wolf what's good batman batman is here what's good jumpmon what's up elite ninja jumpmon elite ninja fairy tiger is still up for some reason shout outs to the co-captain of the the viking nation what's good man um paid enthusiast is here what's good um how you doing today my man uh party man elite ninja party man's here what's good alonzo vines is here racing wolf is here um kid Rattata is here your meshi's here artist akira is here akira is here jetty plus is here elite ninja jetty plus elite ninja elite ninjas elite ninja arons here elite ninja kenyatta ali's here i'm glad that you figured out how to sponsor back up kenyatta ali thank you so much i appreciate that um let's see here uh tornado claw is here what's good tornado claw good to see you here my man robert bear is here what's good robert how you doing today um t dude is here bowsette is here chuba's here once again Jaden is here what's good Jaden? um kitsune a4 is here what's good elite ninja kitsune good to see you here mr pete 1985 is here what's good mr pete good to see you here as well pete and pete in the house what's good what's good guys what's good um let's see guilty gear is awesome man there you go random uh black cat 89 what's up black cat how you doing today my man cj barnett is here with the awesome name that's that's like a football player name you must you've got to be like a football player cj barnett that, that's that's definitely a football player name <laughs> i'm probably wrong uh let's see here uh jose figueroa what's good man um yeah you just gotta sign up my man uh one thing that we're gonna do for the tournaments though guys if you can i know some of you guys you know it's hard for you guys but i'm um, trying to do hardwire try to get a hardwire because i mean like we want to make sure that the connections are good and you know wi-fi is just not good enough for some people you know so um please try to make sure that you guys do hardwire uh hardwire you know ethernet cable whatever you can do if you have to take a little monitor and whatever into the to the room where the the router is to play please make sure you do so please make sure you do so guys because yeah i mean we, we need to make sure that there is as as little as lag as possible for the matches so try to hardwire your your switches guys when you when you play um let's see here be more akuma's here what's good be more akuma 
uh omega game chase is here what's good man arctic witch is here what's up arctic witch um let's see here uh fire blast gaming is here what's good fire blast gaming um let's see here uh wolf what's or it's w o l okay i think it's just wolf what's good sora what's up sora solar boy what's up my man how you doing today how you doing today sean uh shawnee the great gamer what's good man how you doing today good to see you here jeremy elite ninja jeremy i should say is here what's good oh, excuse me um Uh, let's see here. Uh, MTY1983 is here. What's good, man? What's good? Um, well, we am. I've played against you though. Your your Wi-Fi setup isn't bad. Like your 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 connection isn't bad though. So I mean, if you've got fast Wi-Fi to where it's not a problem, then that's cool. But some of some of you guys that I've played, man, some of y'all some of y'all need to definitely do that. So. Yo, what's up, Matthew? Let's go. My man, Matthew, hitting us with that sponsorship. Thank you so much, Matthew. Welcome to the Elite Ninjas in the Elite Ninja Village of YouTube. You are an Elite Ninja. Hopefully, you enjoy your access to your brand new emotes. And of course, if you want to get in on the action for Smash Brothers or any of the other games that we're going to be having, uh, please make sure you check out the community tab and you, um, uh, you hit up the Discord link on the community tab. So thank you so much. I'm gonna post a fresh link for you guys because some people were talking about they couldn't find the they couldn't find the link. Um, try to use uh, try to use your what's it called um, the for the link guys like we trying to get on the Discord because some people were saying they, they couldn't find it. Try to use like a desktop. Don't use your mobile phone. Use a desktop first to try to get on the Discord because I guess some people were having some issues with that. So thank you so much, Matthew. I do appreciate that. But now that you're an elite ninja, my man, uh, you, you gotta you gotta get a profile picture. You, people look up to you. People people look up and, and, and they see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've got to be an elite ninja. You've got to have that profile picture. So you can pick one of your favorite games, you know? Pick a game that you love or whatever. And I go ahead and put that as a profile picture for you, my man. Um, all right. So create... Uh, Ooh, man, this is cold. I just got this at CVS. All right. So let me go ahead and post a new community link for the new sponsor because we actually got a number of them. <laughs> no pick, no service. Nah, nah, not for the Elite Ninjas. He just got to he just got to get one in there, you know? He just got to he just has to get one in there. <laughs> Discord link. All right. So this is going up on the this is going up for all the 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 members already. So there's a Discord link. I just put it up for you guys, so make sure you check it out. Matthew it's on the it's on the community tab on, on my main channel page. Uh, all right, resting in bed. You got a headache. All right, guys. So I think that's enough for shout outs. Thank you once again, Matthew. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get into the topics here. So we're gonna start off with the first topic, and that is uh, Super Nintendo games. So uh, the the interesting thing is that uh, there's been a lot of talk about data mining, and a lot of talk about. Um, you know, what games are going to be coming to the Switch when it comes to Super Nintendo games. Uh, with the Nintendo Switch Online app, that was updated and data mined. Um, in addition to this, the Switch was data mined and people are finding out that, yeah, there's going to be some Super Nintendo games coming in. There was a list of different games. It was like Super Mario Kart. There was like, uh, what, what else was there? There was like Legend of Zelda, um, Link to the Past. There was like a bunch of Super Nintendo games on there, like 20 something or so. And I mean, like, I don't think this is like surprising. Like a lot of people are like, huh? Like... Oh, like like they have like the Pikachu you know meme up like 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 as if it was like a big deal that like or it was like a surprise or a shock that Nintendo's gonna add Super Nintendo games to this like we already knew from the data mine a while back that there was like a freaking Super Nintendo controller in the data mine like and there's like the NES controllers that we got so we already know that there's gonna be Super Nintendo games like why wouldn't Nintendo put Super Nintendo games on there like it's not like a shock you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not it's, it's not like a shock that that they are going to do Super Nintendo games on there. Like, like, and and that's why it's funny because people say, "Oh, well, they only have NES." I'm like, dude, they're gonna add them. They're like, they're gonna add Super Nintendo games. Like, it's it's going to happen. Now, I think what the the interesting thing is gonna be like how many we get at launch, 
of the launch of the Super Nintendo games and like what we do after that. So, I mean, and like how much they release after that. And like, do we get the NES games in combination? So we get like two NES games, two Super Nintendo games, you know, is it something like that, you know, so it's, it'll be interesting. Um, uh, shout outs to Ashoka Tano with the $1.99 donation becoming the top stream ninja. And they say, um, Ogre Battle, Mario RPG, Ogre Battle, N64, Megusta. Okay, so you want Ogre... So, Ogre Battle, isn't that... Uh, so, Ogre Battle started on the Super Nintendo then, right? Because you said Ogre Battle on the Super Nintendo, and then the, the 64 one. So, that means they'd have to have a 64 Classic, or, or are you talking about 64 games on Nintendo Switch? Which would be interesting in its own right. If when are they going to get to that? Are they going to release the N sixty four games before they release the uh, the N sixty four classic? I don't know about that. You know. Um, so, what do you guys think about this whole Super Nintendo game stuff? Um, you guys think it's happening? You guys think it's not happening? I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. You guys know I, I don't go into the comment section too much, so I know a lot of you guys are commenting on that crap, and I get it. You know, but this is my time to talk to you guys directly. I'm not going to be going in there replying to you guys in the comment sections and stuff like that. That takes too much time when I can just talk to you guys like this and you guys can get like live direct feedback or whatever and tell me stuff. So, um, all right. So let me go ahead and let me get you up here, uh, Ashoka, as the top stream ninja. Thank you once again for the donation. I do appreciate that. Uh, you're very generous. You always donate pretty much every stream. So thank you. Um, all right. Thank you for the $1.99. Um, the Super NES on Ninten uh, Nintendo Switch Online, it could happen in spring 2019. So do you think that there's going to, like, like we're going to talk about the Nintendo Direct in a bit. You guys think that it's going to come at the Nintendo Direct? If we get Chrono Trigger for this for Switch, I'm set for life. Sounds like me. You just need Chrono Trigger. That, that's all you need. That's all you need in this life is Chrono Trigger. Um... Uh, those uh, some of those Super Nintendo games online could be pretty cool. Yeah, I think Mario Kart. Mario Kart online could be Super Mario Kart online would be pretty dope. I've never played Mario Kart online. I mean, I I bet there's probably ways to do it, but I never played that type of game online or like the old school Mario Kart. None of the old school Mario Kart games were online. Uh, shout outs to RX Gaming with the two bit cheer. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, so, um, <laughs> so it'd be interesting. It'd be it'd be interesting. Uh, he said, oh, uh, OJ, yeah, it'll probably be announced at the Direct. Okay, so <laughs> the Direct. This Direct, this is the most elusive Direct ever, man. Um, it's no surprise that Super Nintendo games are coming. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, SNES games, yeah, I, I agree. Um, Racing Wolf says, sorry for going off topic, but but I let, uh, you, you know, last September, Art Gallery. Okay, that's cool, man. Racing Wolf, that, that's, that's cool. Um, Wolf says... Uh, probably since, in my honest opinion, the N64 Classic is the only feasible possibility if somehow Microsoft and Nintendo can come up with some kind of deal for Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna come up with that type of deal though. I don't know if that's possible, considering what you know Microsoft has already done with Banjo Kazooie, like the the whole um, what was it? Uh, you know the rare replay and all that crap. So you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's we'll have to wait and see. Uh. No direct man. Uh, let's move to goalpost. <laughs> nah, nah. There's no goalpost moving. If you guys remember my, you guys remember my original video that I made, um, a couple weeks ago, I was predicting Nintendo Direct. Everybody was predicting that it was gonna be the tenth. Everyone was saying like a lot of people were saying it was gonna be the tenth, and I was like, nah. If there was a direct, it's gonna be the set. It's gonna be like the seventeenth. Or it's going to be it's going to be the seventeenth or the twenty fourth. That's what I predicted in my video. So, I mean, I might be right. You know, I might be right coming up here. It might be the twenty fourth. It might be next week. We gotta wait and see. You know, uh, we gotta wait and see, man. Uh, yeah, exactly. A Ataki, you're right about that. People are really thirsty with the with the direct stuff, man. They get so thirsty. Like, mm. it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, man. <laughs> but it's funny um but it's funny let's see here uh i'm already uh, i'm already patient for the nintendo direct okay now they got travis out uh so a direct will be nice uh will be a nice fit yeah that's true i mean because really the only other game that we got a release date for like an actual release date is is uh yoshi's yoshi's craft the world which looks amazing on unreal engine 4 by the way guys 
Uh, but Yoshi's Crafted World is the only game. That's March 29th. That's at the very end of March. So a little bit after what Kirby came out. Kirby was like the mid middle March. Um, this one's at the very end of March. So um, so that'll be interesting. Like nothing in between that time period after Travis and then all the way till then. I mean, I know there's some like smaller titles. Like we have Dragon Mark for Death. That's coming out at the end of this month. Um, that's a pretty that's a pretty big well in the in the independent scene. It's a pretty big exclusive for Nintendo. Um, on the switch and then like the physical editions coming out in february so you have the you have the digital version in january at the end and then you have the physical version in february so excuse me um chuba says all i need is some more three uh fire emblem three houses footage and details yeah i just want some more details on fire emblem three houses you know that's all i want is some more details like i just think the game looks so cool but I think they're, I think it's, I think they're really retooling the game though. I think that they're actually going to show off like a lot of cool stuff, like the new mechanics of the game and stuff. Once we actually uh, see it, I got to update the Patreon thing here. We're actually at 124 Patreons, not 123. So thank you for all the Patreons. Appreciate that, homies. Uh, listen to the stream while driving. Be careful, my man. Cheers, bro. Just got out of work. City of Brass is going to be great on Switch. I hope you've been doing a good day. Uh, Hope you've been having a good day today, OJ. Yeah, I've been having a good day, man. It's just been really busy. Um, morning, I had to finish up editing my uh, Skies of Arcadia video. I had the PE news in the morning. Uh, what else did I have? Uh, I just had a bunch of just stuff. Had to go get, had the haircut today that I had to go do. Um, so yeah, just it's just stuff. Just a lot of stuff today. Just a lot of busy work. A lot of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, working on uh, getting a interior designer for some stuff. So so yeah, man. Um, you said Fire Emblem is the most that you want to hear about. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Matthew says uh, we need a new Chrono Trigger using the Octopath Traveler engine. You know, I don't want that. I really don't want Chrono Trigger Octopath Traveler. I I really don't. The, and by the way, the the Octopath Traveler engine is Unreal Engine Four. So I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, the Octopath Traveler engine isn't anything special. It's just Unreal Engine Four um they have some cool art in there like with their 2.5 hd that they did but it's just unreal engine 4 uh so like i really don't want chrono trigger to look like octopath like if they're gonna if they're gonna do a new chrono trigger i want it to be its own style i want it to be its own thing i don't want them copying octopath because chrono trigger came before octopath why does why does chrono trigger need to copy the game that it's copying it's like wait a minute like chrono trigger came out before octopath octopath was kind of a throwback to chrono trigger and the old school rpgs why the hell should chrono trigger copy the game that it that it copied itself from you know what i'm saying like that's weird that that's a weird that's like that's like insulting to chrono trigger in, in my opinion because octopath was modeled kind of after the old school rpgs and the look of it why the hell should chrono trigger copy what it's already being copied that doesn't make sense to me and that's disrespectful to the original to model the soft and to the original creators of chrono trigger to then make another game and then copy a new game that was copying itself in the first place that was copying that style i i don't know i, I think that's just a i don't i don't know that that's a slap of disrespect in my opinion you know maybe i'm thinking too much about it but i think that's disrespectful but that's just me um let's see here um was i am setsuna no i am setsuna was not a sequel to chrono trigger no it was a chrono trigger styled game it was hearkening back to the old school of Chrono Trigger. It didn't do a very good job, in my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a se No, it wasn't a sequel. No. There's only been one real sequel. There's not There's not a direct sequel to Chrono Trigger. I mean, maybe ra the Radical Dreamers or whatever the hell that, that you know, uh, what are those things called? Visual novels. Maybe that would be something that you could say is a sequel. But there's really no real sequel chrono cross takes place like in a different dimension or whatever and like you can bring in some of the characters from chrono trigger that cross over and there's like some type of talk between surge and all of them but there's no real actual sequel to chrono trigger you know um or any of the chrono i mean like i said the only thing is like be like the radical dreamers game that that's it and that's like a stupid visual novel or something like that it's not it's not a real game you know so yeah all we have really is chrono trigger and chrono cross so, I mean, I'll take either one of those. Uh, even if they want to say, like, hey, we're going to make like something that's like a, a spiritual successor to Chrono Cross, that's fine. Chrono Cross's battle system is freaking amazing. So, so yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Abaddon. I appreciate that, my man. Um, uh, what's up, OJ? I got to say, even though the Switch Online isn't perfect, buying a virtual console game 
um, is around uh, six years. Is that British pounds? Six dollars each. I think 20 for a year is a reasonable price. Yeah. Uh, I've always been like that. Everybody just calls me names and calls me fanboy and says, no, virtual console. Virtual console is, 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 is the greatest. And I'm like, man, y'all can take your virtual console and shove it somewhere else. I, the, the prices on virtual console are ridiculous. You're going to end up spending hundreds of dollars on all this crap that you're barely going to play. Um, that you literally, you're barely going to play. Everybody talks about how great virtual console is and buying the same games over again. It's not that great. It's not. I've ne like I said, I've never been a huge fan. I bought some games on the Super Nintendo. Now that they, they do these Super Nintendo classics and they do these NES classics. So we just continue to buy the same old games over and over. Just add it to some online cloud thing and then just keep on advancing that and adding to that and adding to that and then that that will be your new virtual console as you as the months and years go on you just take that and then you just put it over to the next system no more of this virtual console set ten dollars per n6 none of that trash any that's that's garbage dude that's garbage you buy two n64 games that's a whole year of the service you know what i'm saying like on the wii or the wii u you buy a few super nintendo games that's already 20 bucks right there you're gonna spend hundreds of dollars and virtual console i rather just have them do, it's, it's not virtual old games that you've already purchased a million times is not that serious it, it's really not that serious in my opinion i know a lot of people disagree you call me whatever names or whatever i don't care i'm gonna stick to that I, i've never been a big fan of virtual console it's too expensive now, i don't want to hear people saying oh well the, if you buy the original games if you buy the original cartridge, eh, nobody ain't nobody going out and buying the original cartridge of a game unless you're collecting. You're not going to go out there and you're going to freaking download a ROM. Stop it. Like, does, eh, uh, well, the original cartridge is $140. You ain't going to buy the original cartridge. You're going to download a damn ROM. Quit. Quit. Quit gonna download a rom just like everybody else you can fill up your freaking super nintendo your this this thing right here you can fill this thing up with like all the every single super nintendo game that you want and it's very easy to do okay so i don't want to i don't want to hear that okay i don't i don't want to hear any of that all right i i really don't because that's what people well if you buy the cartridge <laughs> You ain't buying the cartridge. You ain't going to play all these stupid games that are coming out. Okay? You already bought them. You already played them. You'll play them for a bit and say nostalgia. And then you'll go back to playing things that you've already, like new games that you haven't played yet. That, that's what all these people do that are sitting there going virtual console. I guarantee you they just buy it, play it a couple times, and they're done. I was so hyped for this thing. I've played it like three times. I'm a fraud myself. I'm like, yo, oh, Super Nintendo. When they release the Super Nintendo classic, I'm gonna, oh, yeah, oh, I'm gonna stream it. I'm gonna, um, um, <laughs> I'm gonna play, oh my god, I'm gonna play, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do content. Oh, oh, I can't, dude, I've done, I played like three times. It's like, <laughs> I played two or three times. Oh my gosh, I played it like two or three times. Ain't nobody playing that crap. You already played all those games. Stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyway, he said, uh, my only thing is the pacing of the games released. As you mentioned, these are all old games. We're going to get four to six games a month. Two are special editions. Uh, whatever. Then they can release four or five more. Who cares? Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sit here and get butthurt over old games. I know other people do, that's what some people do. Oh, complaint, that's fine. I get it, I understand all you guys' complaints, whatever. Complain till the till the cows come home. I said it in a video, you know, like, oh yeah, it'd be great if they released more, but I don't, you're, you're never gonna, nothing that anybody says is gonna make me care about old games that I've already bought. This is $80, you know what I'm saying? Like, the other thing is 60 bucks, the NES. Like, I'm never gonna be able to sit here and get butter over ROMs, okay? Or over over ROMs that I've already bought. I'm not, I'm just not, okay? I'm just, 
I'm sorry, nothing, and look, if there are people that will make videos and act like they're all upset and do that, and they will never tell you their time actually spent playing this crap because you know why they won't tell you that is because they don't play they, they're just looking at something to talk about but they don't play all this junk that's thrown at them they don't play all these games that are thrown at them i guarantee you they don't play all these games that are thrown at them i i guarantee you a lot of these cats don't do it like yes that's fine they give us seven games a month eight games a month hell give us 100 games a month give us games pass i ain't gonna play all that trash i'm not it's just I'm just being real. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you guys or sit up there and make fake rage because of games that I'm not going to play. I'm sorry. I can agree with you guys that say, hey, that they need to increase the pacing of them. I agree. They need to release more. I agree. They need to make it better. I agree. But don't expect me to sit here and be upset and sit there and say, yeah, yeah, I'm pitchfork. No, I don't care. I honestly don't care about old games that I already have. I already have these games that people are saying, oh, I, I already have them. I, I, they're, they're all here or they're all behind me on my, my Super Nintendo. I already have them. I'm not going to go anal over freaking old games. ROMs. I'm, I'm not. I'm, you, you, can't, you, you can't pay me enough to be, me to care about that. I'm sorry, man. Um... <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> oh my gosh! I said we got. <laughs> he said, "Oh, we we, uh, we need to get a triggered uh, OJ emo for the sponsor." <laughs> yeah, trigger. I'm not triggered. I'm just saying. I'm trying to make it presentable to where it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, people expecting you to be angry with them. People, ex people expect YouTubers. To constantly be vocal or complain about things in order for Nintendo to fix them or to listen, which is fine. I agree. Sure, be vocal all you want to, but I'm not going to sit here and be angry or be vocal or complain about things that I honestly don't care about because then it becomes fake. Then it becomes fake because you're sitting there and you're saying this, 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 this. And then if it comes, you're not even going to play that. That's fine. Like if I'm going to sit here and say, you know what? They need to release like 10 times more games. You know, I'm really like they need to, oh man, I need to make a bunch of videos. Why they need to make like release more. I'm not going to do that because I don't care because those games are going to come and I'm not going to play them. You know what I'm saying? Like when Super Nintendo games come, I'm not even going to play them. I already know I'm not going to play them. You know why I'm not going to play them? Because I don't care. And I've already played them. I've already played them a million times. Like my favorite Super Nintendo game of all time is like Chrono Trigger, right? If they brought out Chrono Trigger, would I play it on there? Probably. Would I beat it on there? Probably not. I've already beat Chrono Trigger like 30 times. I've already beat Chrono Trigger a million times. I beat it a gazillion times. Would I beat it again on the Switch? Probably not. That's a waste of time. I'm going to, I, I have enough trouble beating the new games that come out. So they can release whatever they want. Probably not. I've, I've booted up. I mean, and I know it's different for other people, but I don't have time to be sitting here playing a bunch of crap like a bunch of super nintendo games thrown at me like it's the same reason why i can like i say game pass is garbo it's like i'm not gonna sit here and pay 120 dollars a year for a bunch of games that i'm never going to play like there's time and then there's your money you throw your time and your money into something like 120 dollars a year like games pass you know and you're not going to play all those games that are released even with the nes classic the nes games that are coming out i'm not going to play all those even with virtual console I'm not gonna, I don't even play all the games that I bought on the virtual console. Like back when they had virtual console, I didn't even beat all the games that I bought. I just bought it just because. Be oh, oh, Super Metroid, oh, Super Metroid. Oh my gosh, yeah. I get Super Metroid, I play it for a bit. It's the same Super Metroid that I've beat over and over and over and over and over and over. Well, I'm sitting back there with a backlog that looks like the freaking great library. You know what I'm saying? That looks like the, the, the biggest library ever. Just full, chock full of stuff, you know? Uh, but that's just my thought. Um, Deadbox 7 is not if Nintendo added virtual console and the games carried over to the next console uh, by it once and that would be popular. Well, that's what this, this thing is like cloud-based, dude. This thing, like the Nintendo virtual, like the Nintendo online app thingy or whatever it is, it's all cloud-based. It's not, it's not like an actual, like, 
ROMs on your system or whatever. So this thing that they're doing is definitely going to carry over to the next system and the next system and the next system. And that's what I'm hoping. And that's why I actually like it. I don't need to download, like fully download a ROM. Like all you do is like the Nintendo Switch Online updates and bam, those games are there. You know what I'm saying? It's not like individual downloads per like a game. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that. I've already done that a million times. I don't, I don't need to. Um, but like I said, for other people, it's different. I'm just giving you guys my perspective. I'm not angry at you guys' perspective. I'm not saying that they need to, like, you guys are wrong for asking for more. I'm not, not saying any of that. I'm just giving you guys my own perspective. That's it. You know? How about you show me your backlog of games, Dragon Gamer? How about that? Um, T. Ozzy says, uh, what? what no, that's a random that's a stupid random question hold on to the hold on to the end for stupid random questions uh what's up daniel how you doing today my man um hold on to random questions towards the end guys we're talking about we're talking about super nintendo and we're talking about nes super nes games on the switch if you guys have any comments on that let me know hold on to your random questions towards the end and i'll answer them um let's see um it better oh well you don't actually own them though however personally i'm happy with the with the indies uh, yeah, exactly. You don't actually own them. They're just like, you subscribe to the service, you like rent the games, you know, it's just like a rental thing. But that's kind of how every all of these things are like PlayStation now, which is stupid. PlayStation now is the dumbest thing that I've ever seen in my life. That that thing's trash. That thing's absolute garbage. That is just complete bunk, complete trash. Anybody that subscribes to that service, you've got you've got issues if you subscribe to PlayStation Now. Like you've literally got issues, or you've got nothing better to do with your life if you subscribe to PlayStation Now. Um, Game Pass is better, but there, it's still it's not my it's not my cup of tea. Um, not my cup of tea. And I'm that was a joke when it comes to PlayStation Now. Okay, guys, it's it's a joke. Don't take it as a, don't take it personal if you subscribe. It's I'm joking. Um, uh ps not that is such a garbage service i remember i tried out like the i did like the free trial of that you're better off just buying the playstation all the ps playstation games like ps3 games that are on there or even the ps2 games all those games can be found for cheap like you're better off just collecting those you know what i'm saying like um <clears throat> yo shout outs to elvis thank you very much elvis g says oj telling it as it is I've only played Secret of Mana on mine. Um, it, it, it does look good under my TV. <laughs> but see, look, that, that's, that's what we keep it real here, guys. Like I said, people can say whatever they want to say about me. That's fine. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Say, say whatever you want. But I'm keeping it real. I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm not going to sit here and cry and complain and say all these different things about what they need to do and then not play the games. I used to do that, guys. And it's fraudulent. It's super fraudulent. Heck, I've called myself out a million times. Like when I say something, I'm like, eh, well, you know, I don't really do that. You know, or I didn't really play that or I didn't really, you know, follow up on that. But I'm, I'm hell not doing it here. I'm, I'll never be a fan of virtual console. Never, ever, ever, ever. Um, never be a fan of those prices. Too much, too much for, for games that we've already bought. They need to carry over. So hopefully these ones carry over. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Elvis. Appreciate that, my man. Uh, you are the top stream ninja with the $5 donation as well. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, um, I'm also play Smash so Nintendo Online. Got my money uh, for that. The value of the train with other people is more worth than the service. Objectively speaking, it, it's funny because a lot of people think that like playing online isn't it's it's not actually part of the value at all. You know, so it just it just depends on each person to person. But like I said, I, I respect all you guys' opinions on that. You know, um. Uh, doing some calisthenics and studying? Cool, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Valhalla says, um, I bet most people complain about the virtual console have a Raspberry Pi with the whole damn NES and Super Nintendo library loaded on them. <laughs> Another example of complaining just to complain. Oh, yeah. Well, most people have all the games. That, most people already have all the games that, like, they, that they want. I mean, like, you can, like, hack a 3DS and put everything on there if you want to. Like, you can get an SD card, hack a 3DS. And if you want portable Super Nintendo games or portable whatever games you can do that raspberry pi you can do that i mean this thing you can hack put whatever you want it nes you can hack put whatever you want on it heck you can hack the play the, the the ps classic and put super dental games or whatever you want on there i mean it's really easy to do all these things not that i'm not saying that you guys should but i'm just saying like it's not like it's not that big of a deal it's old games you know i'm more uh listening to like when people say like, hey nintendo switch online needs to add 
this feature or that feature i'm like okay yeah that, that's understandable like complaining about that because like it still hasn't been added but we're talking about things that's already been out already been added already been paid for already you know what i'm saying like it's it's already there you know and so even though i don't care about like you know all the like messaging and like all that stuff would be great. i don't care because i use discord for everything no matter what but i still understand like yeah that's something that needs to be added but like old games that we've already played and bought like a million times over again it's like i'm not really i don't really care about that you know um let's see here justin mcmullen i think that's the first time that i've seen your name up here for donation thank you so much man i appreciate that y'all can use it y'all can use the stream labs link though right below you in the chat if you're gonna donate the donation links right there but thank you very much i appreciate that <laughs> shout outs to justin mcmullen with the five dollar donation and he says i think many people are sleeping on dragon uh dragon mark for death yeah i think people are sleeping on it but the thing about it is this i think people were sleeping on blaster master zero and then that sold 100 000 units on the switch and that was like back in like 20 <clears throat> 2017 when the switch launched that game sold like 100 000 units quick so i don't even know what it's at now but i mean like if if blaster master zero can sell 100 000 units on the switch dragon mark for death is definitely gonna cross that up so i mean i think there's enough people that are into creates fans that are waiting for this game so yeah there's gonna be people sleeping on it but it looks it looks really good it looks at it looks like it plays really good so i'm, I'm excited about that um so yeah let's see here omega uh omega game chase says uh places i didn't necessarily play all the virtual consoles i think switch retro gaming online is a neat feature i think you're right that it's more convenient my 3ds needs to be played i mean no like i said i understand guys like i understand like i i completely understand what people are talking about you know i com i completely get it you know but it's just like it's just not enough for me to get upset you know it's like not a, it's like when it comes to that um i really don't get upset about many things guys because to be honest getting upset especially for brothers uh past your 30s um that can that can like you know hypertension um that can get you uh your hair balding um all you uh, gain gain extra weight you know i mean all you guys got to do is go back to last year of videos early in the year of me freaking whole front side here was balding i'm always getting upset about things back here was balding now it's all growing back so i try not to get upset about really anything and even if it's just about something that's insignificant or something that's not important like a video game if you get upset and you display those emotions as getting upset all the time that type of stuff is going to affect you so i try not to get upset about that type of stuff when i'm talking to you guys in the camera here and when i when i go up on things that's just me just talking like entertainment purposes it's more for entertainment it's not like i'm actually upset about anything to be honest just letting you guys know you know like I said, this is not even my real voice. Like, <laughs> so this is not even my real voice. I don't, I don't talk like this normally. I'm elevating my talk, like I said, to talk to you guys in a certain way. My voice is much more boring and monotone. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, it just is what it is. Bosley S. Bosley costs too much, man. But it, this is this is Rogaine. This is Rogaine. Rogaine's cheaper. Bosley, man, they be charging way too much. Like, I, I, I called them. I had a little consultation with them, and they're like. They're talking about like thousands. I'm like, bro, thousands? Like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good, you know? I'm just roll with this roll game for the next two years. See what happens, you know? And it just, hair started growing back. Hair started growing back, dude. I just had to roll. Why are y'all laughing at roll? Hold up, time out. Before we move on to the next topic, why are y'all laughing at roll game? What's wrong with roll game? Is there a problem here? Y'all laughing because I use Rogate to grow my hair back? Is there a problem here? <laughs> Is there a problem? What you laughing at? What's so funny with your three stupid uh, emojis? What's so what, what's so funny? When you go bald, when you go bald, I'm gonna laugh at you. What's so what's so funny? He said, but well, seriously, hair loss is nothing to joke about. Just relax. <laughs> I just want to know what's so funny. I just want to know what's so funny. It's a normal product. It's it's like the FDA or whatever. It's it's just normal. It, it ain't it ain't like freaking like laser treatment or it's like it ain't like Bosley. Like I can understand people talking about like okay laughing if it's like Bosley. Like if you go in, have you guys ever seen somebody get a hair transplant? Yo, it looks like it looks like a fatality is going on on your head, like a little fatality, like Mortal Kombat is going on. on your this shit up look like Mortal Kombat's going down on your head. It, it doesn't look pretty, okay? All I'm doing is taking some freaking cream and rubbing it into my scalp. 
like like lotion or something. I don't see what's so funny about <laughs> about that. Dude. No, y'all. Next time when you guys get the opportunity, look at look at hair transplants and look at what's going down. It literally looks like a fatality is going down on your head. Like what they're doing, you know. I use the name brand. I use Rogaine. I use the actual Rogaine. I use the actual Rogaine. It's it's a it's a foam. It's it's like a it's like a foam, and then you just go, and then you just rub it in like like lotion. Like you just rub it into your the baldness on your head, like like lotion. And then you just gotta you just you just wait. You um also eat like um uh, like you also eat like certain foods that help out. Uh, you also take um certain like a what, what what is it again? I forgot what pill that I take. Uh, there's like a little pill that helps with your hair. Uh, biotin. There you go. Biotin. You take biotin. You take Rogaine, uh, vegetables, eat healthy, exercise, workout, reduce stress. You do all of those things, your hair will grow back. But you can't wait till you're freaking bald. Like, you can't wait till you're already bald. You got to do it while you're going bald. If you wait till you're actually bald, then you, you're going to be calling Bosley. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be calling you're gonna be calling somebody for a hair transplant or you're just going to be bald, which is nothing wrong with just being bald. You got to do it while you're bald. Like, when you start seeing the balding, that's when you do it. And that's the thing. I wasn't completely bald. I was starting to ball, you know, so, so yeah. Spray, bra hey, he says spray on hair, what? <laughs> um. Yo, who's this? My man, David J with the Toby. Ah, ah, blaster. <laughs> Toby Blaster, let's go. My man, David J, the sharpest. Best looking ninja in the village says, Go to 1950 and give me your thoughts, my ninja. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's, what's gonna happen here, dude. David, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of worried, my man. What's, what's going on? 1950. All right, so we got a request. We got a oh, oh, the oh, oh, soldier boy. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'll give you guys my live reaction to this. And I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna clip this part too. I'm gonna give you guys I'm gonna give you guys my live reaction. To this I'm gonna record this, so this will be up on the channel later too. So we're gonna watch a little bit of um uh, of the Breakfast Club. We gonna we gonna roll to the Breakfast Club. Uh, we are going to watch uh <laughs> we are going to watch a little bit of this here. Uh, let me let me enhance this a bit so we can get a little bit of a bit bigger picture. Oh no, what happened? Black and white wallpaper. No, no, what's this? I just want to talk. I just want to go to the. What's the display? Display capture. All right. So we are going to. We're we're gonna get into some Soldier Boy act. What the hell? Come on, man. This display. Thank you. All right. So we are gonna talk a little bit about this. Um, Soldier Boy's new console. Live reaction. It's the live reaction to Soldier Boy's new console. Uh, <laughs> Ronald Rogaine. Uh, so we're going to go to 1950, says David. And Soldier Boy has his new console. So we're going to check this out here, guys. Shout out to, shout out to David for the Toby Blaster. Um, beware of language, guys. There's some um, sensitive language that is probably going to be used here. So just beware of that, um, of the language. So yeah. Um, so let's see here. Let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at so what Soldier Boy got to say. Look like money, Big Draco. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlemagne. <laughs> I got my new video game, you know what I'm saying? They say that's shit counterfeit as fuck too now. They'll give props to the Asians at Nintendo, the white people at Xbox, white people at PlayStation, but a black entrepreneur to come oh, out. Hold on, we gotta rewind, we gotta rewind. Black that. money, Big Draco. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte, man. I got my new video game, you know what I'm saying? They say that shit counterfeit as fuck too now. Uh, you know, they <laughs> always hate on the black entrepreneur. They, they'll, they'll give props to the Asians at Nintendo, the white people at Xbox, white people at PlayStation, but a black entrepreneur to come out with a rapper, the first rapper to come out with his own video game, they're gonna say it's counterfeit and it's this and that. They're gonna try to shit on me, but I'm gonna keep striving and you know doing my thing because I made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in one day. You, you know keep what I'm changing saying? that number now. I know. It, that was keep going, it keep going down. It keep going up with my phone. I'm gonna show you going the down, receipts right going now. Up. Is I'm the Nintendo you. suing you for that video game? I can't. My lawyer said I can't speak on that. I'm sorry, Envy. Complex <laughs> has an email set up called <laughs> SoldierWatchTip at gmail.com for anyone who's ordered this Soldier Boy Soldier products Boy video game. but haven't received them. This is them. the Soldier Boy video game right here. It's a console. You know what I'm saying? It's a console. Why are they saying it's like a? Book? How much I make yesterday, Charlotte? 
Uh, how much did I make yesterday, how much, Charlotte? How much did you make? If you don't stop yelling at me. How, yeah. much, how much did I make yesterday? It's, 200, <laughs> it's two hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars, six hundred and four dollars and eighty-eight cents. Thank you. Soldierwatch.com. It's order a Google your, image, though. Order your video. No, it's not. I'm just it's a Google <laughs> image. <laughs> Come on, man, I do this. What does it say, Andy? You can swipe through it, say, do your thing. No, swipe through it, tell them. It, it say two. But are people receiving their products, it's though? Yes, it's they are. Bad. Complex this got This is what happened. This is what happened. Yeah. I put up the video game. I thought it would only sell, like, 500 copies, 200 copies, not a lot. We got, like, a fucking... 10, 20,000 orders and it got backed up you know what I'm saying I didn't I didn't I didn't expect it to go that to sell that much so you know what I'm saying backwarded. so we got backed up but so it, your, your product play? is on the way so what games can it play it could play Super Mario it could play Sega it could play Mortal Kombat it could play Sonic it could play Kirby Pokemon it comes with 800 pre-installed video games but isn't that like trademark counterfeit? Yeah, and they're all licensed. Oh, so, oh, you so, clear, licensed so you clear the license. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, so they can't but, so, but they said they that can't. you removed the console because of threats of criminal charges <laughs> they for said, breaking the trademark counterfeit. They said, they said a lot of shit. So you know, that ain't true. What really happened was we got sold out in Charlotte. So why did you sold out? the console we, off the... We, uh, do you know what sold out means? Yeah, but it would usually <laughs> still have the console and say sold out. Like you took it off altogether. Because I want the re-release version too, which if you will go to soldierwatch.com right now, you will see that one up there. Oh, an answer for okay. you for they say Soldier Watch is just a fake Apple Watch. Is that true? Yeah, they say Android is a, is a fake Apple uh, iPhone. They say <laughs> I a think lot you of get stuff. this money from it, right? They say a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My my product is legit. My product is assembled in China, just like the iPhone. If you turn your iPhone around and look on the back, it says what? Assembled in China. So why are they not? Why are they knocking me for getting my product made in China? But you're praising the iPhone is overpriced as shit. Let me see. They doing the same exact thing. Taking a fucking iPhone, yo. The, you know how much it takes to make an iPhone in China? How much? Eight you know? dollars. I don't know. Probably you know? twenty dollars. No. This shit said know? made in Cali Park. Do you know? How <laughs> Shut up! It don't say made in Cali Park. I like Charlie. You funny? Are you? Do you know how much it costs to make an iPhone in China? How much? Like twenty dollars. Thank you. And they sell it for how much over here? Too much. A thousand. How much? Too seven, much. Eight. How much? Thousand. How much? Yeah, nine hundred. How much is that in profit? Like nine hundred and eighty dollars? Yeah. Yeah. So who really is the bad guy? Me or Apple? Thank you. I don't, even, I don't even know what you just did, but, um, okay. <laughs> now, let's talk about your personal life. Because you are it. on Marriage Boot Camp. Yes. With Nia Riley. Are you guys still together? You got to watch the TV show. We oh. TV every <laughs> Thursday night at 10 o'clock. Tune in. I don't want to spill the beans. What we made saw, you do we that saw show? the preview where she was saying that you were threatening to... And this is for y'all. Y'all, well, well, I'm, y'all <laughs> are, I'm sorry. My bad, Ange. What? We saw the preview where she said you were threatening to commit suicide and all of that. Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> Why you gotta tell me to? Why you gotta tell me to play that, man? Why you gotta? Why you gotta tell me? <laughs> oh my God, yo, yo, that's a new segment. I, I react to things. Toby Blast, I'll react to something. You put the link. It's gotta be short though. I'll react to something for Toby Blast. You put it in there. Music on Toby Blast. Yo, bruh, bruh, hold up. Can we talk about this for a bit for the YouTube peeps, for the people who are watching this? On YouTube afterwards, because uh, I, I, I'm clipping this for YouTube and you guys are watching it live. But um, my man Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy, boy, bruh, bruh. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me go a little bit bigger here. Um, bro, bro. I, I, I don't, I, I don't know about all that. Like, how did you license? How, how did you license? How did you license ROMs? How did you license... There is no way you got the license. You lied to them. There is no way that you got the license for all of that. Pokemon, you got the license for Nintendo. You got the license for all of that. There is no way that you got the license for all of those games. I mean, he says that he got the license. There's no way he got the license. I want to see that. Um, He said that he can't mention it with his lawyer. But then again, he got a license for it. There's no way. 
There's no way. There's no way that that means essentially you're getting first party games. You're getting all this stuff on there. There's absolutely no way, Soldier Boy. There's absolutely no way. So um, that was a funny clip. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and like continue to just harp on this. I, I thought it was funny. Like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube later, um, I had a person that donated for me to react to that. Um, but yeah, like Soldier Boy, you didn't get the license for it. He's lying. Uh, you did not get the license for all those from all those different companies. There's been nobody in the world that's ever gotten the license for all of that. Um, there, there's been nobody. All, all on one device, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. So it is what it is there. Um, guys, what do you guys think about this? <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you're watching live, obviously, you put them right there and I'll react to them. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know. But anyway, uh, let's get back to the show. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect, I didn't see that last part because I saw some of it, but I wasn't paying attention because I was editing the video when I watched it the first time. So that was the first time that I actually got to just sit back and actually like react to it and all of that. So, I mean, it, it's, that was, that was hilarious, you know, very funny. Thank, thank you, David. I appreciate the, I appreciate the donation, my man. Um... Uh, well, I'm not going to react to you. I'm just going to react to the gaming stuff. I'm not going to react to other stuff that he says. Uh, but that, you know, that's, we'll just react to that. We'll just go ahead and leave, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it right there. So that was that. Um, so Soldier has the uncle at Nintendo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, shout out to the new viewers that are in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, excuse me. Hit that like button if, if you if you just jumped in. Uh, we just got done reacting to Soldier Boy. That will be... I already clipped it myself. I, I recorded it and clipped it myself so I don't have to download and re-edit. So uh, that'll be up on the channel later if you guys want to watch the, the whole thing or watch it again. Watch me spit out my drink. That was just... I tried to hold it in, but I couldn't. So I just... all oh, just... I tried, but I couldn't. I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Um... So he got he got more licenses than Sony got for the PS Classic. <laughs> I know, seriously, seriously, that, that that's ridiculous. Exactly. Uh, he went to Shigeru Miyamoto and said, "Yo, bro, can I get uh, can I get can I have Mario, Pokemon, and Mortal Kombat?" <laughs> yeah, I know. And Miyamoto was like, uh, "We don't own Mortal Kombat, but you can have Mario and Pokemon." Oh, by the way, Nintendo doesn't completely own Pokemon either. But yeah, go ahead, take it. You know, take it. Uh, no, he said, "Hell to know he doesn't have the license." Nintendo threatened legal action on him. Even, even TBC knew that. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's it, it, it is what it is. I'm glad that you did not die. Yeah, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive and well. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm alive and well. But I thought I thought that was hilarious, man. Thank you, thank you, David. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the donation, my man. Uh, what's up, Ray Lopez? How you doing today, my man? How you doing? I wasted like a good chunk of my of my drink because of that. Um, so yeah, I'm alive. Um, shall we move on to the next topic here though, guys? Uh, how many hours? We're already an hour seven in, and I think we've only talked about one topic. Um, we actually have Nintendo Direct speculation. All right, guys. The floor is yours. Nintendo Direct. Is it happening this, is it happening this, uh, this week? Who says it's going to happen this week? Who thinks it's happening the following week? Anybody got any takers or who says no Nintendo Direct at all? I got to hear you guys' thoughts and why. Don't be bums. Don't just put yes or no. Don't just put, I think this, and then don't give, give me, give me when you think a Nintendo Direct is happening, if it is happening, and why, what week, and if you don't think it's happening, tell me why you don't think it's happening, and kind of what Nintendo's going to do, maybe like in February, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know, Ninja, let's go, um, um, let's see here, uh, let's see, if you got those licenses, he'd be, poor, he'd be on the poor, uh, give me one second, guys, you guys let me know about that, somebody at my door, so give me one second, chair essence, should we play some, do I got any music? Give me one second.
Sorry about that. I had to get this dude out of my place. I'm not. I told him I'm not the homeowner. I am the homeowner. I told him. <laughs> I told him you rented. I'm like, nah. I'm like, I'm with the friend. <laughs> he said, nah. I'm with the friend. Uh, so he's like, all right, all right. I'm like, good. Peace out. Um, <clears throat> I, I, that was my that was my soldier console. That was my soldier console. All right. So let's see. What do you got? What do you guys got to say with this whole direct stuff? Um. Daniel says, I don't think it will happen this month. Can't say why. Just a gut feeling. All right, the gut feeling. All right, well, then that, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. At this point, maybe in February. What if, what if they announce it tomorrow? Soldier Boy at the door? Yeah, man. <laughs> he reacted to my reaction. Well, I think the direct is either next week or the first week of February because we should hear about Piranha Plant soon as well as uh, there are more games that we have uh, no dates about. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Bowser says, look, uh, I'm going to say that Nintendo Direct is going to happen during the last week of January. Simply put, they already uh, been announcing Twitter stuff. Uh, think of that as an appetizer before the main dish. Oh, like a tasty appetizer. A Final Fantasy 7, or sorry, Final Fantasy 12 um, and Final Fantasy 10 2 slash appetizer. A Dragon's Dogma appetizer. I guess Soldier wanted to pay off Jim. No, Aaron says, no Direct this month, but a Pokemon one in February. Okay, a Pokemon Direct. So we'll get the first footage of the new Pokemon game. Hmm. Interesting. January thirty first, eleven fifty nine PT. <laughs> the very, the very last possible day. Very last possible day. Um. Let's see here. <clears throat> Plus, I think the Super Nintendo stuff revealed this week. It's uh, highly likely we'll get it direct this week. Okay, so you think it's gonna be announced? What, what if Nintendo just says Super Nintendo games? Are available on your Switch. Go download them. What if they just say that on Twitter? What if, what if, what if they just say that? I, you know, there was actually people that were upset that like this stuff wasn't in a direct. Like they're upset about release dates not being in a direct. They're like, well, they could have saved those for the direct. It's like, dude, don't, if you want the direct, that's fine. If you want a direct, but why are you gonna say you get mad that they announced something and it's not at a direct? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm hungry. Uh, Nicholas says uh, this week uh, they have uh, they have investors meeting uh, next week. Uh, they need to have a release schedule of everything that is coming. Uh, all right, so that that's true, Nicholas. You're right about that. Direct is happening because well, I can see Twitch. But somebody asked me if I was banned. I think uh, Carl O the player. Uh, you said that uh, that if you were banned on YouTube, I don't know if you're banned on YouTube. What'd you do, man? My man, are you banned? Um. I see direct is happening because OJ is talking about it, and and I believe OJ. Wait a minute! I never said the direct was going to happen this week. I said that it's potential. I didn't say it was going to happen 100% this week. I said it's going to either happen this week or it's going to happen next week. If you watch my video about a Nintendo Direct possibly happening, I had I had a calendar and I had Mario stamps on there, and it took me a long time to edit that part because I kept on messing up with the size of the Mario heads on there. But um, yeah, I think it's going to happen either this week or next week. You can you can bet your Soldier Boy console on that. <laughs> Um, according to my inside knowledge, the Nintendo Dark happened yesterday without anybody knowing, and then Nintendo covered it up. Okay, so they, they put it out there, then they 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 silenced everybody. The Nintendo Ninjas came out there and silenced everybody who wanted to talk about it. Um, the upcoming this upcoming week, because I think there's a major first party game coming in a couple months. I have Metroid Prime Trilogy HD. Okay. A major first party game? That's just a slow Metroid game. What are you talking about? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Man, I you the, the the funny thing is that Metroid fans are so nice to me. Usually like, the stuff that I've said about Metroid Prime Metroid Prime, usually people get ripped apart. You know? But you guys have been very nice to me. A lot of you Metroid fans have been very nice. So when we finally get Metroid Prime and when I start complaining about the first person and the clunkiness and all that stuff like that, hopefully you guys still love me. Hopefully you guys still love me. But I, I, I do know that the, some people don't like what I say about Metroid, which is funny. Um, uh, which is very funny. Uh, somebody, uh, Someone needs to slow the like button. Yes, hit that like button. If you're not hitting that like button, hit the like button. Um, I just want to know uh, what panic button in Virtuos was teasing about in November. Well, Virtuos was teasing about Final Fantasy. Hall, you're not you're not watching my videos, my man. Um, if you watch my videos, then you know that 
Virtuals was teasing Final Fantasy X slash X2, because like, I already talked about that in a video, saying that that's the big game that they're working on. So that's what they were teasing. They were teasing Final Fantasy X slash X2, HD Remaster, and Final Fantasy XII. They're the developers behind those games. Uh, when it comes to Panic Button, um, I don't know what else. I know they, they were teasing something, and they were teasing... Um, it seemed like they were teasing Warframe, even though Warframe was already announced. I mean, they were teasing like a lot of information about the game, which that happened. But I think they were probably teasing something else as well. We know that they're working on Doom Eternal. So I'm thinking that they're probably working on another game or two. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, let's see. Uh, I, I don't like first person games, especially not at this point. With how my eyes have been, first person games get me very nauseated. Um, even if like, and people talk about take drama mean. That's stupid. Why the hell am I going to take drama mean before I play a video game? Like, well, I got to sit there and check my reserve tank. Check check my, like, freaking... I, I'm going to have, like, tanks, like, freaking Metroid above my head of, of drama mean in my system. I'm not going to take any damn drama mean before I play video games. It ain't that serious. Like, somebody said that, take drama mean. No, that'll help you play. No, it ain't that good for me to take drama. For me to take a, 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 a freaking... A, 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 some type of medication before I play a video game? No, I just won't play. You know, when it comes to Metroid, I'll just play in small stints. Like, I'll just play in 10, 15-minute stints so I don't get sick. I mean, I used to play them before, but it's just, it's whatever, you know. Um. All right, take it easy, Daniel. Thanks for coming out to the stream, my man. Um. Probably the 24th, says Brian Jedi. They are typically on Thursdays, and I don't see them doing uh, doing it on the last days of the month. Yeah, that's what I said in my video too. You know, that's what I said on my video. I don't see them doing it on the, like the last the last month. So I think it maybe it's like a um, you know like a November or sorry not November. It's like a it's like a twenty fourth or the seventeenth. Like, you know, like one of those two. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, So yeah, I think the Nintendo Direct will happen on in January thirty first, four thirty p.m. North America and twelve p.m. JP. Four thirty? I don't think Nintendo's ever had a direct at that time, so that'd be interesting if they did it at four thirty. That's a really weird time for them to do it, like four thirty p.m. PT. I mean, I don't know about all that. Uh, Racing Wolf says, uh, players, says, if Nintendo Direct were to happen this month, uh, do you think Nintendo will show us more on Piranha Plant and Joker for Smash Ultimate? I don't know about Joker, but Piranha Plant probably, yeah, like. Like, let us know, like, yo, like, Piranha Plant's coming out this day. Maybe here's some more of his moves, what he could do. So, yeah, man. Um, Dual Shockers posted what on Twitter? Uh, what did Dual Shockers post on Twitter? Um, you said you got bullied for saying that third-person option would fix the issues I have with Metroid Prime's gameplay. Sorry for the uh, first-person games being um, hell on my learning disability. It's just first-person games, like... The thing about first-person games, especially with Japanese first-person or just for the for a Nintendo game in first-person, it really limits the sales potential in Japan. That's the first problem with first-person games is that you already know that you're not going to sell in Japan. Um, I think first-person games, obviously, in the West sell really well. Um, people like them. People, they, they do well. People people think that they're good. I just don't think that it... I, I mean, and Nintendo's already stated that it's first-person. Like, it's a first-person adventure on the fact sheet and all that. So, I mean... But yeah, I mean, I agree, like a third person option would be nice, but like if you do a third person option, you can't, you've got to pick, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it would be nice and it would be, it'd make things more playable, but for a game like Metroid, I guess you got to kind of pick, right? Because like if it's third person that you can make Samus move faster, you can do certain things that she couldn't do in first person. But then again, you have to have that to where if you like switch between the two, it needs to be, it needs to translate over well, you know? Um, for example, like Skyrim, Skyrim, you know, you can go into third person, but it's awkward in third person too. You know, like when you fight and things, things like Skyrim for some reason feels better in first person. I mean, I, I play, I switch between the two third person and first person. When I play Skyrim, when I'm just running out in the field, I'll shift it into third person. When I'm actually fighting somebody, I'll shift it into first person just because third, the, the way that the third person fighting is set up, how the game is just like how you hit people and stuff. is just awkward in, in, in third person. So it's, it's easier to fight and, you know, and you can tell that the game was made to be in first person. So, I mean, I don't want that type of dynamic going on. But, yes, an option would be good. But, I mean, but they've already kind of stated that it's the third person whatever. But, I mean, they can do whatever they want. It's their game, right? Um, doesn't Metroid sell better in the West? That's true. But I said that you limit your sales potential um, by, you know, by having it first person. But, once again, this is Metroid Prime. 
You know, the, I'm just hoping that they do this, guys. I'm really hoping that we get another game and they kind of pull like a Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion. You guys remember that? Like Metroid Fusion came out like at the same time as like Metroid Prime. And then like they had like both games, like you can connect them and unlock like a, the, the suit, the Fusion suit in Prime. And then you can have the whatever suit in Fusion or whatever it was, like the little connection that they had. I'm hoping that they do something like that. Like they release a whole nother like really like, good like maybe even like Unreal Engine 4 or whatever it is, like a really high quality 2D Metroid game to go alongside Metroid Prime. And like, that's what I would want. That would be my personal like thing. Like I'd be like, yo, this is cool. Like I can play this really cool 2D Metroid game, like Fusion and Metroid Prime, you know? And I, I, I like Fusion more than I like Prime. Even back when I was playing those two games around the same time, I like, I definitely like Fusion more than I like Prime. I, but although I think Fusion came out before Prime, right? I think Fusion came out, and then, like, there was some linking. I don't know. I don't remember, but whatever. I'm hoping that they do that. I mean, how dope would a really, like, graphically intense, like, think of, like, I mean, look at, like, Metroid uh, Samus Returns. Look, look at how good that game looks on the crappy 3DS. Like, with the graphics of that, you know, and that and that, yeah, that game is probably, like, pushing the 3DS to its limits. Like, imagine them saying, okay, we're going to push, like, Mercury Steam. We're going to push the, the, the Switch to its 2D limits with like a Metroid game. Like imagine how dope that would be like all smooth running in 60. Man, dude, like the speed and how like the morph ball and everything, that'd just be so cool. Like, I don't know. I just think first person Samus is kind of lame, but that's just me. Um, I think back to when uh, Metroid Prime uh, came out, first person, uh, the main way for shooting games over the shoulder, third person really got popular later. So maybe they might change it. Yeah, but they've always said that it's a first person type of, you know, type of thing. So, I mean, they, they might change it. You're right. Or they might give you an option. Um, we have to wait and see. Um, but I think that, yeah, you're right. Like the third person kind of zoomed in. Uh, that got really popular with Resident Evil 4. They were kind of like the trailblazers of that. So um, that'd be dope if they had it in. I think that'd be a nice way to, you know, to do it. But, you know, you have to wait and see. Uh, Metroid typically has confined spaces. Level design is also typically uh, designed around the perspective that you have in the games. Well, that's true. I mean, but there's really only been two perspectives, right? There's been the 2D kind of that type of design. And then there's also been the first person. Um, the design of Metroid Prime games is clearly neutered for it to be in first person. Let's, let's just be real here. 2D Metroid design is way more extravagant and when it comes to what you can do with Samus as a character. First person Metroid is slow compared to 2D Metroid. Let's just, just call it how it is. It's slow. It's very slow. It's actually, it's like you're moving underwater slow compared to 2D Metroid. Compared to Fusion, compared to how fast you move through in that one, it's very slow. And I mean, it doesn't help like with the doors and all that, how the doors take forever to load up in Metroid Prime and things like that. It, it doesn't help with that either. Um, and we're not talking about like Metroid Other M. We're not talking about a game like that. But that game's also a lot faster paced than, well, some most of the time. And sometimes it, there's really weird slow walking points like this, which are dumb. Um, but, you know, um, in general, I, I, I exactly what you're saying is right. And, you know, if you, if you give me the option between a slow, lethargic, first-person clunk, clunk-a-dunk, you know what I'm saying? Like, and which, yes, it's slow. Metroid Prime, you move slow, you jump slow. It's slow compared to what it used to be, compared to... Metroid Fusion compared to Metroid, even Metroid Other M compared to um, the other Metroid games, it's slow. It's very slow. So, I mean, if you give me an option, I'm going to take the fast 2D game over the slow first person game. First person doesn't, it doesn't immerse me. Like everybody's, oh, it's about, it's about, it's about the, the, the immersion. I don't get immersed. I'm already in first person. I live my whole damn life in first person. I'm already in first person. I don't need to be immersed in a first person through another first person. That's freaking stupid. I'm already in first person. I don't get more immersed because I see the stupid same perspective that I see every damn day of my life. Okay? I don't see myself in third person. Okay? So I'd rather play a game that where I see the whole character. I'm already in first person. I don't want to be double first person. It's first person through first person. I'm tired of first person. I live every single day of my life in first person. I don't need to play a game where I'm more immersed. I'm already immersed in my own life. <laughs> Sorry, I went off on a little bit of a rant. <laughs> I used to, I used to marry so I could have, so I could, so I could live in third person. <laughs> got married. Hey, yeah, okay, that's me. Okay, let's just see. <laughs> hey, third person. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. I. <laughs> Oh, you said that was a JT was that was a good rant. I'm sorry. It just it just spurred up like when people say like I need I need I need to be immersed. So when I see the eyes, it's like I'm it's like I'm there. I don't need to see that. No, I do I do not need to see games in, in the immersive. Oh, I already live life in first person. I ain't gonna be any more immersed because I have a floating gun or a floating Samus's beam cannon. That doesn't immerse me more than freaking Resident Evil 4 where I can see Leon or 2D Metroid where I see, like, I'm not more immersed because I'm freaking looking out of the person. I'm, I'm not, I'm just not. That's just, I know for other people, that's what, that's fine. But I'm not more immersed because I have a dual double first person view. I'm already in first person. I don't need to be in first person again. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't immerse anybody. <laughs> so far as I meant third person versus first person in terms of switching cameras. Oh, I got you. My rant wasn't directed towards you, by the way, Brian. Um, he said, but OJ, the isolation, the graphics, the immersion of the first person is unmatched. It's unma unmatched. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. <laughs> Third, uh, three person open world Metroid is probably, yeah, I think you meant third person open world is probably what you want. It'll be expensive and very ambitious, but I, I would like it. I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if I even want, like a, like a third person open world Metroid would be dope actually. I mean, I think I've talked about that, but I mean, if they did like a really dope 2D Metroid, that's fine. If they did it like a really dope, you know, third person open world Metroid, that's fine. Um, that's all oh, that's fine, you know? Um, I'm just talking <laughs> at this point. I'm just, I'm just talking. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I, if I'm Samus in first person, um, I'm taking my clothes. <laughs> that, that's, that's going to be the new VR game, right? Where you like, you just take off your clothes. And you're like, <laughs> Best Metroid game ever. <laughs> That's that VR stuff that you like, right, man? You were talking about how great VR is. That's what you want. You want a VR, man. Sam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get a review code for Metroid Prime Four. Well, I buy. I'll probably buy the game. I'll buy the game too. I'll buy. It. I'll buy it as well. Um, I'll also buy it. So, yeah, I'll play it. I don't gotta lie. I mean, I can play it for... I, the other day, I was talking about Doom versus Wolfenstein, and, like, you know, like, I don't, like, I don't personally, like, love those games. I mean, but I can still talk about it and make... I can still do work based on the games, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like Wolfenstein, but I can still acknowledge that it's a good game. I don't like... I mean, I like Doom. It's, it's okay, but it's not like, oh, my gosh, Doom, it's the greatest thing ever. It's like... But, I mean, it's work, you know? So, like, Metroid Prime, am I gonna like the perspective when it's first person? No. Am I still gonna play it and still... If it's a good game, say it's a good game. Yes, but am I gonna personally be like, oh, I love it? No, like I can separate my work. I can separate the game from my own personal preferences, and I think that's something that like a lot of people don't understand, because um, a lot of YouTubers can't do that. A lot of YouTubers can't like what they'll say is like, oh, well, this is trash, and it's trash just because I think that, and that's that's it, you know. Whereas me, I can say, well, you know, I think it's kind of garbo because of this, but that doesn't mean the game is bad. That's just my opinion on its perspective or whatever it is. But that's garbo to me. But I can still understand why people like it. I can still understand why it's a good game outside of my own opinion. Some people can't separate that. I can separate it very easily. That's why I did the video on Doom and Wolfenstein the other day. I'm not going to sit there and play those games. Make me sick. Wolfenstein's trash. But I can see it from outside of my own personal beefs with Wolfenstein on the Switch. It's a good game. Outside of my own personal things. Um, if you like first person shooters and you like stories and you like shooting things, it's a good game, you know, but I think it's Garbo, uh, Metro prime cross with Warframe. Now we'd be talking, man, that'd be dope. Um, uh, the hands that says I'm not big on ultra immersion, either your mind, <laughs> your mind does that on its own. That's true. Exactly. I don't need to be that and that's and that's the whole stupid stupid westerner type of thing like if you if you actually need to be in a first person to be more immersed into a world 
your game is lacking on the other things. Your game is lacking good art. Your game is lacking a good narrative. Your game is lacking a lot. You don't need to be in first person to make you more immersed. Some of the most immersive games ever are not in first person. Like Mass Effect 2 is what I've never felt like a freaking bald space marine more in my life than playing Mass Effect 2 and the original Mass Effect. Mass Effect doesn't need to... If, if the game was in first person, it doesn't make the game more immersive or more I'm like Shepard. It's the art, the story, the combat, the dialogue, whatever. That stuff is the immersion. I don't need to be in first person to put... I, we're not there. We're, there's already a barrier. It's not like, oh, well, I'm like, I'm there. Like that, that, that does not make me more immersed. Maybe like 20 years ago when first person first got going or 30 years ago, maybe when it was maybe when it was kind of new, but it's not, it's played the fudge out. You know what I'm saying? Like first person is so played out because that's the whole reason why it was there in the first place as if you're there, it's played out. That's why like VR games, right? Like first person VR, like you're there, you know, um, it's played out. It's done. It's been there, done that we've been playing first person games forever there is no more immersion it's not new it's not new anymore you know um so i don't need to have that if your game if you are sucked in more to a game because it's in first person more so than a game that's not man you're getting you're getting caught in the same old webs that people got caught in you know 15 20 years ago when we we're trying to say okay well first person you know sixth generation or whatever you know, okay, well, more first-person games are coming. The graphics are better. But, like, ever since the sixth generation slash seventh generation, it's no more immersion, you know? Like, it's it's done. But, you know, it is what it is, you know? Uh, Fortnite immerses me just fine. I'm, you know what? I, I can't get immersed into Fortnite because Fortnite is such a stupid concept. It's hard for me to get immersed into Fortnite. It's such a, it's such a stop-and-go break. Con like, there's no continuity. Like, there's no what's next. There's no real goal. It's just dancing, emotes, useless up, no real upgrades, you know, going into a lobby. Then it's the same thing over and over. There's no real end goal. So I can't get immersed into Fortnite. When I'm playing, when I played Fortnite, and we can go ahead and move into random Q&A, too, while we're at it, guys. So if you guys have questions, feel free. If you want to talk about the whole 20 million Switch goal thing, we'll talk about that. Nintendo might hit it, whatever. We talked about that during the week. Watch my video on it. Um, when I was playing Fortnite, I never felt immersed in it. I just felt like this is just a dumb game that I'm playing that I can have a little bit of fun with my friends. But it just it felt like a dumb game. It looks like a dumb game. And I never got once got immersed into it. Like, I'm, I'm there! Like, I never was immersed into Fortnite. And it has nothing to do with the graphics, either. It's just... It, it, the, the, the experience is broken way too early. I mean, you can go into there and you can die instantly. And then you have to sit there, go back to a lobby, wait for whatever, then blast off. Maybe some of your teammates are alive. It's never, that game was never immersive to me. It, 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 the, the experience is too stop and go. It's too much breaking the immersion and then going to something else. Now, if they made like a Fortnite, like a real Fortnite like game to where, like there was like more to it, not just battle royale trash. And I know that they have like this whole save the world thing, but that's not immersive either. That kid, that's stupid too. Um, then then I'd be more inclined to be immersed, but there it's just it's just not for me. Um, let's see here. The next step in immersion would be the technology similar to dot hack or sort out online, but first person doesn't immerse you at all. Um, well, dot hack and all that, that's like kind of like stepping into like the VR territory, you know, but like them, it's like actually putting you in the game. So that would be like, you know, like actually building somehow building a game world, you know, and then you actually being in there, but how sort of online does it and dot hack, like it's, it's like impossible with current technology, you know, what they do because you jack into it, but you're like actually there. So if you die, you kind of die in real life too, or whatever that was, you know? So, I mean, like there's some issues with, with how they do it and how it's actually like how it is. Um, and apparently you don't look the same way either. You look different in your actual life than what you look in the game. So, I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting that type of, but that type of tech isn't, it's not feasible at all. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll get there one of these days, 
you know, like probably not in our lifetime. But I think eventually, yeah, there might be tech like that to where it's almost like a second life type of thing. But it's just not I can't that type of tech isn't feasible in my brain because I can't think of what what would that tech actually be? There's nothing like that in this world. I mean, VR is VR is not even close to what they're doing there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's kind of it's like the first step, but it's like a baby step. It's the smallest of baby steps. It's like an infant step. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's see here. Um, I get that with COD, Halo, Destiny uh, being lackluster games. Uh, these are all good first person games such as Fear and Time Splitters. Yeah. Um, um, and Arcadia says, um, if more if more Joker info is shown at the next direct, do you think they'll show um, all the songs like they did with Castlevania? And also, what's your favorite Persona Five song? Uh, just I don't know if I have a favorite. Just the the intro title song is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think they might they might talk about the rest of the songs that what's going to be on there. Um, Shadow King nineteen eighty two says, "Persons, have you ever played uh, the? Is it Trials or Trails? Which one, guys? Trails, Trails of Cold Steel? No, I haven't played it. Um, I heard about the third one, but yeah, I haven't played it. I don't really know about it. Um, it seems like a cool game, but I'm not gonna sit here like they taking forever to localize the game. So, so yeah, I don't I don't really care like. So, um, Deadlock Seven says Fortnite is just uh, is like playing a sport, time filler, a bit of fun on the side. Kids love it too. Um, but playing a sport actually has a goal. It has like a end goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has like a, a purpose. It has like there's more to it. You know, Fortnite doesn't. Fortnite almost, literally has almost no substance to it. There's no actual benefit either. Like when you're playing a sport. There's actually benefits that you gain during the game and after the game. One, it's really good exercise, you know, so that's the first thing. Uh, but two, you can actually improve and gain skills and do certain things. Like if you're playing football, the mental fortitude of, you know, locking into a football game the whole time is completely different than like playing like a Fortnite match. You know what I'm saying? Um, so um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good comparison, but I, I see what you're saying. Um, player says, I'm not trying to knock Fortnite, but I just don't get why it's so big. I get why it's big. I mean... I can understand why some people are liking it, but the massive phenomenon, I don't get it. I, I can get it because it's a game that everybody could play. It's a game that, you know, was different or unique at the time. And um, they were one of the, the first Battle Royale games. Not the first, but they were one of the first ones. But to have uh, more of a the art style that it had and what you could do actually building stuff. All the other, you know, games were just like, you know, you just survive. Uh, this one was you actually build stuff up to help you survive, you know, where you could put up a wall or whatever. So it was a unique concept at the time or when they did it and uh, it just took off it just took off and it was and it has epic behind it you know epic is epic so so yeah um are you going to make a chrono trigger video just like your skies of arcadia video um i've already made videos like that but yeah quest for glory gamer yeah i'm probably gonna make another video like that raging wolf uh 7957 says player since um, if super mario maker were to come to switch would you like to see Mario turning into Smash Ultimate characters as a costume? Not really. Um, Brian Jedi says, um, I do think that they can make a compelling Metroid game with over-the-shoulder ga uh, over the shoulder gameplay. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Omega Chase says, Persons, I forgot Half-Life and Half-Life 2. For what? Um, David Ribeiro says, Persons, uh, do you think any music from Tokyo Mirage Sessions will be added to the Joker DLC? Um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions? I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think so, but that'd be nice. That'd be nice, but I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> Tokyo Mirage Sessions is a great game. It needs a Switch port more so than anything. Um, David, uh, or maybe Xenoblade, Xenoblade X and Tokyo Mirage Sessions, those need Switch ports. Uh, which Nintendo game would you like to turn up in the big gap before Yoshi at the end of the March? I don't think there's going to be any game that they can just randomly turn up. I mean, I don't really think that's that big of a gap. It's, it's a month. <laughs> you know it's 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 one month microsoft and sony go multiple months sometimes without first party releases so i don't think it's really that big of a gap to be honest it's just it, it's it's literally a month and we got two games this month we got travis x again and we also got um well we got three if you're talking about exclusives we got three with with uh, dragon mark for death but i mean i don't think i think it's a little bit unrealistic for nintendo to have a big first party game every single month of the year that's 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 tough um, Dub City says Smash Brothers tonight. Yeah, we'll, we'll be playing Smash Brothers tonight. We're gonna end the stream in a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna get something to eat, and then we're gonna be playing Smash all night. 
Um, player since uh, the airship, the airship combat in Skies of Arcadia looks awesome. Yeah, I'm guessing that you said looks awesome, so I'm guessing you haven't played it yet. Yeah, it's one of the most most unique things that I ever experienced. When I first got Skies of Arcadia, I didn't know that you could do that. I bought Skies of Arcadia blind on the Dreamcast. I just saw it and it looked cool, and I'm like, hmm, you know. And it, it was expensive because um, I didn't buy it right at launch, but I bought a little bit afterwards. I, I didn't know it was coming to the GameCube, so I just bought it on the Dreamcast. Like I just saved up my money. I think I was in high school. How old was I? I was I was in junior high, but I got my Dreamcast in 2001 for Christmas. I think I and then I got Skies of Arcadia in 2002. I didn't know it was coming to the to the GameCube though, but I didn't have my GameCube until 2002 at the end of 2002. So then I saved up my money for like a couple months, you know, um, and I picked up uh, I picked up uh, Skies of Arcadia on the Dreamcast and I played it. And like I said, I just bought it because I thought it looked cool. I think I saw a little bit of it like on online, but. And it was amazing. And then I bought the GameCube. And then I didn't beat it on the Dreamcast. I beat it on the GameCube. Um, and that the GameCube version is even better. It looks a little bit better. Um, has some extra content in there. It's good. It's really good. And yes, the ship battles are freaking amazing. You can infuse cannon blasts like with magic and stuff like that. It's it's really cool. I'm surprised more more developers haven't copied that. Um, let's see here. How would you react if Sans from Undertale was announced for Smash Ultimate as DLC? I wouldn't. I wouldn't care. Um. Shadow King says, um, they weren't kidding when they said all DLC for Tales of Spirit Definitive Edition. I thought it was just going to be costumes, but all the item, money, and level DLCs included. Yep, everything. Uh, David M says, which Nintendo game? Oh, never mind. I already read that. Uh, let's see here. Um, Deadlock7 says, Persons, oh, one of the costume DLCs for Persona 5 was Shimogami Tensei costume, so you never know. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Jose says, uh, Persons, did you talk about Smash Patch? I'm not sure if I missed it. Yeah, I talked a little bit about it. Looks like Nintendo is going to be... Um, is going to have a big patch that's going to be coming up pretty soon here, maybe like February. Um, that's going to fix a lot of things and some uh, address some stuff, maybe even add some content. So that's what I've heard, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see on there. Any other questions, Ninja? The stream for Smash Brothers will probably go down like around like 6 p.m. my time, so 9 p.m. Eastern. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna be playing some Wolf. Uh, Wolf. We'll be playing um. Elite Smash with Wolf. And then I'll be getting into user battles. So we'll play Elite Smash for a little bit, and then we'll move into user battles. All right, take it easy, Racing Wolf. Thanks for coming out to the stream. OJ, have you played uh, Vagrant Story from uh, from Square on PS One? Yeah, I have. I haven't beat it though. But I um, when I when my friend used to go to like he used to go to Europe. His family was from Europe, and he used to go to Europe on the over the summers. He used to let me borrow his PS One, and that was one of the games that he had. I got bodied in that game though. I wasn't as good in video games, you know. As I was, you know, not at this point. It was weird to me playing PlayStation RPGs, um, but yeah, I mean, it would be nice if they if they brought that one back. Um, I think Beam says, "What's your favorite character that you lab so far and was fun to do?" My favorite character that I, that I use, uh, Wolf. Wolf. Wolf is my favorite character so far. Uh, uh, you know that I use in terms of like I guess most fun to play as. Um. Most fun to play as. I think it, it might be Wolf or it might be like, I really like using um, Link. Link is really fun to use in the game because of his bombs and his arrows and all of his stuff. Um, yeah, Wolf's fun to use too. Wolf's really fun to use. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> Deadlock7 says, HD Rumble could be interesting in Metroid Prime 4. Uh, thoughts, OJ? Yeah, it could be really interesting. Yeah. How they might utilize it. I think the rolling would feel cool. Yeah, they can use it for rolling. Yep, that's a good idea. They can use it for pretty much anything. Like when you do like the screw attack, right? That could be like a kind of like a like a, like a fast moving pulse type of thing. When you shoot a missile, like the like the, how the missile comes out, like a, a, a regular missile compared to a super missile. HD rumble that would that could be interesting how they use it. Uh, different types of beams, how like how the beam you know shoots and how it feels. There's all sorts of stuff that they can use it for. I mean, Metroid is like almost like built for HD rumble. So yeah, the charge shots like when you yeah when you charge it up and like like the constant like charge like the rumble of that. I mean, it's pretty much a game. I can pretty much it's a lock, right? It's a lock that they're gonna use the HD rumble like that. So yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff that they can do, you know, all sorts of stuff. Grapple exactly. Excuse me. Yes, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. Um, any other questions, guys? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, exactly. Christian Kunani, yes, you're right about that. David Drayton, he had me dying with that, uh, with that, what's it called? Uh, with that, um, with that Soldier Boy uh, type of thing. That was just, yeah, let me go ahead and put David Drayton's name up on there. Yeah, with the 20. Thank, thank you, Christian. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was hilarious with the whole Soldier Boy thing. I'll answer questions for another 15 minutes. So. If you guys have the questions, let them rip. Have you ever thought about having dreadlocks? Uh, n not really recently because I can't really grow dreadlocks anymore because my hair just won't grow like that. When I was younger, yeah, I thought about having dreadlocks, yeah. But, I mean, not really. But I, I was kind of more of a braids type of person. Uh, when do I think I'll hit 50,000 subscribers? I don't know. Um, let's see here. Uh, the hands uh, says, place it's... Uh, would you be? Uh, would it be a good idea for Switch special editions to have unique sound or unique sound or effect when you sl slide them on, slide them on or off? I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know. Um, how old are you, Moo Moo Miles? How old are you? Um, Dank Meme Center says, player since, uh, what game are you looking forward to play this year? Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, player since, uh, I'm not seeing. Why you like Tornus Combat more than Xenoblade Chronicles 2 base game? I like the driven, the driver combos emphasized, but the blade combos are now nowhere near as satisfying. I don't know. That doesn't even make sense. What are you talking about? It's it's basically the same combat system, just simplified. You can do you can do pretty much every single blade combo um, that you can do in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. You can do in Torna. All they've done is that they made it to where you can do it's like the same name and everything <laughs> and then like new ones with the with the new with the new what's it called the new blades that are in there so i don't know what you're talking about it's literally like all like i think like just some of the some of the pathways are different but it's literally the same combos and then you can even do like level three combos by not having the actual official chain so i don't know i don't know why you're saying like oh well the combat in xenoblade 2 is is more satisfying it's just like it's literally the same thing they just simplified it so i don't, I don't get what you're trying to say um brian jedi says a question um in the next 2d uh 2d metroid uh would you rather them keep the 3d graphics like samus returns or have more of a hand-drawn style like monster boy or steam world games um i think i kind of would rather have it to be like the Samus Returns, but that's just my opinion. Favorite Mortal Kombat character? Motor Kombat? I think you meant Mortal. Motor Kombat character? <laughs> Ed Driven Boone. Uh, Ed Driver Boone. Uh, no, uh, my favorite character is uh, Sub-Zero and Johnny Cage. Uh, Matthew Hammond says, what is Nintendo's next team up with third-party developer? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh... Hey Moo, let me ask let me ask you a question, Moo. Um, are you are you timed out? I think so. <laughs> How about that? Um, that's the last time that I'll that's the last time that I'll address you. Um, I prefer expansion combat over base, more streamlined. Yeah, well, it's the same thing. I don't I don't understand. It's the, it's the same thing, but just easier. It's just it's this. I mean. Fire, I mean, if you talk about Streamline, like in, in Fire Emblem, or sorry, not Fire Emblem, if in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the base game, they tell you where you, what area you can go into. In Torna, you have to remember. Although they'll switch, you know, you don't necessarily have to remember, but they'll switch to whatever the next combo is and then the name will pop up. But it actually, t it actually like shows you the thing. It's just, it's just Streamline, but it's literally the, like the same thing, you know? Um... Said, well, you don't have to chain it. Torna, it's not as strategic, and the combat is so quick that you don't have to be clever building up the element orbs. Basically, too easy. That's 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 false. That's not that's not true. Um, <laughs> that's not true because the difference. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't have to chain it. All they did is that they added. They didn't subtract to it. The thing about it is that you can still get a level three by just doing three different ones. So it just makes it just makes sense that way that so i mean that doesn't make it easier that just makes it that they added it they added in an extra element like oh well you can just do three different ones and it gets you a level three but it doesn't get you the actual name and the bonus damage and all of that you know so in xenoblade chronicles you can do the same thing but it's just there's no chain to three in it you know 
So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. You're saying it's not, it's not as strategic. It's just as strategic because <laughs> if you want to get that, you know what I'm saying? If, if you want to get like that actual bonus damage, you know, then you need to be able to chain it to level three. Now I get what you're saying with making it be easier in terms of the orbs. You're right about that. But the problem with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is that sometimes you can kill the enemies before, like, unless it's an enemy that has, like, a ton of HP, you're going to kill them before you're even going to be able to get a lot of orbs on there. So the, the system is kind of flawed to where it only favors long, drawn-out battles and you not getting orbs, whereas this one is more streamlined to where you can actually burst and get the orbs and do all of that with faster so i mean whether you say that's more strategic or not i think that's more of a flaw in how fast you can kill enemies and how long it takes i think it takes a little too long in xenoblade chronicles 2 to get the orbs and to get a full burst because it doesn't happen very often it, it barely happens unless you're fighting an enemy with a ton of hp so i think it kind of i think it i think it's a balance i think it's a balance on there and i think that in my opinion based on what they have in xenoblade chronicles uh torn of the golden country it was more fun to play as that because in xenoblade chronicles 2 you would just kill them before you can even really get a full burst or anything on there so i mean at least that's that was my experience was unless i'm fighting a unique you're not getting a full burst and you're not going to get that many orbs on them because you're going to kill them beforehand unless you're fighting a super high enemy so to me it's it's a little bit better because i was able to get orbs faster i was able to actually get nice combos and burst and do all that stuff and you could experience more of the battle system where in xenoblade 2 once again you're just going to kill them before you do anything. So um, I disagree with it being in terms of strategic. I just think it takes longer, you know, it's still just a strategic. It's just it just takes longer in Xenoblade Chronicles, too. That's all. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, I don't see how it's any worse or any. I, I, I actually like the. I prefer the streamlined combat, in my opinion. I prefer that because it actually lets you use the battle system, you know, whereas Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is just sometimes it takes it just takes too long, you know. And then sometimes the AI is dumb. Sometimes they don't transfer over to what you need, you know, in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and stuff like that. But hey, that's just me. Like I said, we can agree to disagree on that one. Um, favorite, uh, have a favorite controller on the Switch? Uh, the, the Pro Controller. Yeah. Um, like I said, we'll just agree to disagree, uh, Michael. That's fine. Uh, you can just, we can just agree to disagree. Um, I've put a ton of time into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and that's my opinion on it. If you think it's, if you think it's not as good or whatever, streamline or you don't like it, that's fine. Then that's just, that's just your opinion. I'm not going to go back and forth with your opinion. It's your opinion, dude. I, I disagree. That's it. Um, so, so yeah. Um, any tip on growing a small channel? Um, be consistent, be consistent, be consistent with it. Um, Anthony Rudd says, yo, players, it's, um, you heard about the new dragon action RPG that they revealed on Twitter. Yeah, I still need to get to talking about that. But yeah, I did hear about that. I did hear about it. Um, I did hear. Um, all right, guys, we got eight more minutes of, or seven more minutes of questions, seven more minutes of questions. So if you guys have a question, feel free, feel free to, uh, let me know. Uh, Clint man says, well, uh, where, where, where the heck is the direct? I'm asking you guys, when do you guys think that when the direct is? Are you thirsty? You sound thirsty, my man. You sound super thirst for that direct. When do you think it's happening? Did you guys hear that Unsolved Mysteries is coming back? Yo, did you guys hear about that? That that was the best news of today. Unsolved Mysteries is coming back. Let's go. That was the best news. Uh, when you getting uh, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes? I already have Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. It's, it's, I was started downloading it. I think I had hold up um so yeah it's right there uh nintendo gave me a review copy so it's it's right there yeah, right there so travis i already have it so yeah i'll be playing that probably tomorrow on stream or something i don't know um let's see there michael o'brien says uh late ninja michael o'brien says uh there's going to be a direct at e3 my leaks are 100 percent correct <laughs> there you go um i heard rob gavan gavan could be hosting unsolved mysteries is he i don't know who that is though i don't know if he's hosting it or not um are you going to locals for smash probably Caesar says, I remember Unsolved Mysteries. When is Nintendo Direct? 
Um, when do you think the Nintendo Direct is? I'm thinking it's going to be next week, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's the week after, one of those two. Any release date for Pillars of Eternity for the Switch? Uh, Pillars of Eternity 2? I think they said it's going to be like February. Did they say that? I forgot when. You can look it up. Um... Omega Chases, I both like Zillbag Chronicles 2 and Torna. You don't think that a lot of 3DS games, such as Etrian Odyssey 5 and Radiant Historic Chronological or whatever, that would be ported to the Switch? I don't think any of the 3DS games like that are going to be ported to the Switch. Although, I think that we're going to get a new Etrian Odyssey like a reveal this year for the Switch. I think we're going to get that, but I don't know about the Radiant Historic. I don't, I don't, you can't port 3DS games like that. Um, it's not, it's not easy thing to do, like a, a sub 360p system on like what they do on 3ds that's not an easy thing um so no i don't think that's gonna happen i think new games from 3ds franchises yeah it's, it's like the same reason why we don't see like fire emblem awakening you know or like you know a lot of 3ds games don't get ported over nintendo doesn't do 3ds games because they're not in hd they're harder to do you know you'd have to pretty much remake them i mean you can do it it's possible but you have to make the hd assets like it's just not something that that's done um so i see more of like you know, Wii U games being ported over, <laughs> or like 360, PS3, like more of that stuff. And like, if they're going to bring back older games from like, you know, sub HD systems, then it's going to be like remakes. It's going to be, you know, complete retellings and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, but that's, that's Monster Hunter. That, like I said, you don't see it very often. I didn't say that it's not possible. Snack World to Jars also got ported over as well. It didn't say that it's not possible. I said that you don't see it very often. So you don't see it very often. Never said it's that it's not possible. Um, but can you, I mean, can you name like, because like I can name a ton of Wii U, you know, and PS4, Xbox One, PS3, 360. Like I can name a ton of HD games that have been ported over to the Switch, but I can't name a ton of 3DS games that have been ported over. So I think you guys can see which one's easier here. You know, uh, the games that are already in HD are easier. So, um, uh, you can, you guys can always check what time, how long I've been streaming. All you have to do is just scroll down a little bit right before, right below the player, and you guys can see how long I've been streaming. So I think I've I've been streaming for about two hours. All right, take it easy, Artist Takara. We're pretty much done with this stream, too. Uh, we got two more minutes of questions, guys. About two and a half more minutes of questions. Uh, do I think Final Fantasy VII will release after E3 alongside Persona 5R for the Switch? Persona 5R isn't an actual thing for the Switch. That's not... We don't know about that. It could be named something different. And two, Persona 5 could come out before E3. That could be a thing that comes out before. So your whole question is just full of your own thoughts instead of asking an actual question uh <laughs> so so yeah Re restructure your question to where it's not saying already things that aren't true and then i'll answer it correctly you know um matthew Hammond says thank you no thank you for being here i appreciate that All right, take it easy, Jump Mom. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Appreciate that. Rib, I think you meant rip. <laughs> any any new cereal? Um, any new cereal essence? Yes, I've got a cereal for you guys. If you watched my um, if you here, I'll give you guys a hint on my next cereal review. I actually got the cereal. It'll be up. I'll probably do it this weekend. Um, if you watched my uh, live stream with. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 and I got into it a little bit with somebody then you'll know what cereal that I'm doing next <laughs> I got into a little bit of a, a back and forth with somebody in there if you remember his name that's the cereal that I'm doing next <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it right there. I pretty much told you uh, but if you watch my full if, if you watch my full thing if you saw that little back and forth that I got into you, you guys will know what cereal is next um, so yeah um, what do you think is a better choice, Pokemon, Eevee, or New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe? I think Pokemon, because that's a new game, more so than a port, but it just depends on what you like, you know? Um, Fire Emblem Warriors was also on Switch and New 3DS. That's true, but Fire Emblem is not a port. 
like Fire Emblem Warriors, it's not a port of the 3DS version. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a, it's its own version. The 3DS version, its own thing. The Fire Emblem Fire Emblem Warriors on on the on the Switch is not a port of the of the you know of it of the 3DS game. They're just both on the same. They're just both on there. Just so very similar to how like Hyrule Warriors, like the 3DS game. That's not like Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition isn't a port of Hyrule Warriors Legends or vice versa or anything like that. They just built two separate games that play alike. Um, the the thing about it though, the world ends with you. It's not a DS port. The world ends with you on the Switch. That that is a port from the mobile game, which was already in HD. That is that is the mobile game redone. It's not a port of the DS game. We're not talking about games that are also on another platform. We're talking about a game that's actually been ported over, you know. And the world ends with you was ported over from the mobile they had the hd version ready and they ported that one over it wasn't a d it wasn't the original ds port the ds game isn't in hd they ported over the mobile version um i didn't realize it was on mobile well, there you go <laughs> now you know <laughs> all right guys uh that wraps it up for this one here thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate that i really do um we do have some stuff before you guys go um please make sure you guys check out the channel we got various different videos various different videos that have already went up we talked about uh super nintendo games uh once again we also talked about the power rangers game that's coming to the switch and other systems and also my skies of arcadia video if you have not seen my skies of arcadia video please make sure you check out my skies of arcadia video guys uh please make sure you check it out um i'm going to leave a link to that video in the chat here skies skies of arcadia and make sure um can i spell Arca arcadia can i spell arcadia um so uh make sure you guys hit that like button too before you guys go hit that like button uh subscribe to the channel if you're someone that's not subscribed subscribe to the channel and look out for smash brothers we're gonna be playing some smash brothers Give me about an hour, guys, or so. I might It might be before then. Just give me a little bit of time. I'm just going to rest my eyes for a bit. I'm going to grab something to eat. And then I'll be back with some Smash Brothers tonight, and we'll play for however many hours till I get tired. So, um, all right, guys. We'll see you guys later for Smash Brothers. Don't go anywhere too far. Uh, all right. Uh, peace out.